Thanks for clicking on the video. This is episode three of the Viking Shelter build. In episode one, I built the frame and the bed. In episode two, I finished the roof and I started working on the back wall. I also cooked up a nice little pizza right there in the pizza oven. And that brings us right here to episode three. I've done a bit more work to that back wall and I've already started to fill in the front of the shelter. And what I'd like to do is continue a bit of cooking. So I've got the wood stove set up and I've lit the fire. Again, I've been using a bit of fat wood. It's a resinous, it's the resinous remains of pine tree once the pine tree dies and rots away. The pine doesn't re well, sorry, the resin doesn't really rot. It solidifies perfect for when you need a fire. Strike off or scrape off a few shavings and then using your fire steel, you can strike a few sparks onto your shavings for an instant flame. And a big thank you to everyone that commented over the last two videos recommending something to cook in there. So last week was the first time that I've ever used this pizza oven and I think it worked out quite well. I cooked up a pizza, uh, it came out quite well, apart from it's a little bit thick for my liking but it only took about two minutes to cook from a fresh dough right in there in the pizza oven. So that's why this week I thought I would try a bit of meat. So I got, oh, I kind of got the smallest chicken I could find and it's still too big for me. So I've cut it down, I've separated it into two, I'll save one half for another day the other half, as you've just seen, I've covered it in a nice mixture of spices on top of some onions and some red peppers and also a bit of garlic. And to go with the chicken, I've got a sweet potato. So while that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna use a bit of moss just to finish off. There's a few holes that I've noticed. So I'm just gonna use a bit of this to plug the holes. So one thing that I might build is a small table. It's something I do every time I build one of these shelters here at my bushcraft woodland camp. I need something about that, that high off the ground maybe i don't know something just where i can prepare food maybe put a beer down on um yeah a little coffee table is what i need so i might have a little look around the woodland to see if i can find anything useful but before i go i just want to say how impressed i am with this it does take a little bit of management when it comes to putting in the wood and making sure the vent isn't open too much 
but I'm impressed with the heat. It's holding the heat. I'm managing, we're about 30 minutes in now. I'm managing to keep the heat between 150 and 200 degrees. That is between three to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, perfect temperature for cooking chicken. Oh, come on, let's have a little look. Beautiful. Look how clean that burns. There's no smoke at all. Well, that didn't take too long. I managed to find this. So that side's a bit rough. This side is quite nice. It's fairly flat-ish. What I need to do is find something to in fact, I've got the Scotch-Eyed Auger, which is that, that hand drill. I'm thinking possibly one, two, maybe three dowels straight through into a log. So I just need to find a log now. Something like this. As it's quite thick, I'm thinking I might be able to get away with just doing the one dowel all the way through. So I'll try that, and if it's a bit wobbly, I'll just have to put another one in. Well, sorry about the noise. There seems to be quite a few helicopters and planes flying around today. And it's a really windy day as well. Just listen to how well that bites into the wood. These are really good. Nope, that's too loose, so I need to go and find another bit of dowel to fit into that, but preferably not wet. Because if, if I use wet dowel or fresh, well, if I use fresh wood or wet wood, as it dries, it will shrink, which means the hole will loosen up and the top will become, well, it become a little bit loose and it will probably just fall off. So I need a bit of wood dry that fits that. It was pretty good. Right, I think I've hit the bottom. I haven't done it that well. In fact, there is a little gap left over on the top there, just within, just see a gap there, but look, solid and it doesn't wobble <laughs> yet. <laughs> there we have it. There's my new coffee table.
there's something about making furniture at camp it just it just makes it a lot more homely it's really nice and if you're sitting there watching this video and you think you know what I know something that this guy needs to build let me know comment below let me know in the comment section what you want to see me build right here okay right so I've just checked and the chicken has been in for one hour and ten minutes I've got a feeling it's cooked let's have a look Wow, look at that, the meat just falls off the bone. Look at that. Beautifully cooked. Cool, I did put a lot of spices on this one. Mmm. Crispy skin. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Ooh, let's try a bit of this sweet potato. Wow, wow. Oh, I'll tell you what I did forget to put on is I've got some, a little bit of this chive dip. I'll just put a little bit of this on there so I can dip into it as well. Right, wow. Uh, well, I might just use my spoon. Mmm. I love sweet potatoes, absolutely love them. Comment below, what is your favorite root vegetable that you like to roast in the fire or in the oven? Look at all these juices, full of spices, that's giving it the coloring. Right, what should we try now? Oh, let's go for a wing. Who doesn't like a wing? Listen to that crispy skin. Oh, let's dip it in a bit of that, plus some of that juice at the bottom. And to wash it down, I've got a beer. I've got a bottle of proper job. <sighs> Dinner in the woods. And in case you're wondering, I do have dog food for my dog, Amber. I'll just feed her after I've eaten. Look at that chicken breast. Wow. Oh, these miniature red peppers. Lovely. So sweet. It's now time for a merch plug. If anyone's interested in one of these Scotch eyed augers or even a wooden cookster, or even if you fancy a titanium spork. Last of all, I've got these really cool knives with my logo on them, Bushcraft knives, made in the UK. These are amazing quality. If anyone's interested, I'll put a link below or visit bushcrafttools.com. So that is it for this video. If you like this video or if you want to see more videos like this, please let me know by hitting the like button and don't forget to comment, tell me what I should cook here next time. Speaking of next time, I'm thinking about coming back here to do an overnighter. So for the overnighter, I'll be patching up the rest of that back wall, maybe leaving a small window just for light. Uh, I might think about the door for the front, but of course I'll come back here with some food, with Amber, my dog. I'll have the wood stove, your suggestions of what to cook up and yeah i'm really looking forward to it see you then goodbye <laughs>